we're going to talk about the covert ops military event that is happening right now. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, right over here, we've got a word cloud based off some of the Reddit posts that describe the event. I think that's kind of actually I just made it myself, but I think it's funny. Uh, so let's talk about this event. So this event, uh, you get bonus points for uh, using military tag and various activities. And uh, it's relatively stra straightforward. Uh, you can go right here to the scoring tab and you get points for battle arena whether you win or lose in a raid uh, You get extra points for using military uh, You get points for blitzing now. This is kind of a, a, a point that kind of bothers you Bothers me is that the points assigned for sim blitzing versus battle blitzing the spread between the two is Getting worse with every event like it used to be pretty narrow and it just keeps getting wider and wider and uh, we've done some some math to explain that. Now, the, what is the upside to this event? Now, I know that we I've used the expression free stuff is free stuff, and I want to back off from saying that. It really is bonus stuff. You know, this is stuff that we can do with normal activities like blitzing and get bonus stuff. It's a better word than free stuff is free stuff because you technically have to blitz to get most of this. And there are two different orb fragments. There's one that is an armory 15 and an armory 14 and so they're two different orbs you don't get to pick between the two now there is some confusion on the orbs themselves and we won't know until tomorrow well we have an idea where the the tag right here uh says that it says earn four gear tier 15s but when you go into the individual orbs it looks like you really only get three and so we're gonna have to see tomorrow because maybe that's a typo and we're gonna get bonuses and then the 14 orbs say earn three gear tier now if if it's accurate and you max out the rewards you will get 21 t14s which is not that impactful and if the four number is correct right here you will get 24 t15s but if it's three uh because when you go into the individual orbs it looks like it's actually three it'll only be 18 t15s uh, and that's what I'm going after. So that's like a $25 magical scopal next value, maybe. But how much blitzing do you have to do? And I got to give a big shout out to Verandius. There's our word cloud. Verandius for making the spreadsheets. Link to this spreadsheet will be in the description. And uh, I'm not going to read much of this other than the first couple lines. Uh, right, with no military in raid in a, arena. So like... Uh, I went through and did some of the the U7.5. I ran like three. Some people are running three or four symbiotes, and then they run one military. Like Captain America actually was was holding up very well for me. I was able to run four symbiotes and one Captain America. But he's saying if you run no military in the raids and no military in the arena, because what are you supposed to do in the arena right now? Most people are running Black Order on Black Order, unless you're just gonna lose on purpose, which is kind of a strange way of making it. Like, if you have bonus energy, should you just run in with military and let them die? Because that's the way the event is set up. But if you're playing the game the way that you normally do, like you use your normal blitz teams, your normal arena teams, and you don't intentionally lose, because they've kind of designed this event around intentionally losing. Oh, where else have we seen that recently? RTA? Lose harder. They're teaching us to lose. It's very interesting. Some people like winning. Some type like playing to win. Uh, they're teaching us to lose. To complete the event, I guess. I don't know. They're saying you need eight blitz sib rotations of 24 wins and using the nine military. Now, for me, I think uh, a couple things I'll say about that. It is possible, and I don't mind doing that, me personally, because we got Kitty Pride event running right now. And uh, I, I will say that I struggle to get eight sim blitzes uh, every day. I mean, it requires sitting two hour uh, timers. It means uh, blitzing right when the server resets, setting a two hour timer. I believe my timer is going to go off in the middle of this video. Yeah, because uh, I think I got 12 minutes left and then I have to do my next rotation. But I try to do four rotations before I go to bed and uh, and then four when I wake up in the morning. And then I sometimes I get one in the middle of the night if I can't sleep. Uh, but that being said, I don't know if most people are getting 24 rotations for blitz. Uh, Goofy was popped into my chat earlier and he says that he averages about 20. And and I know that I, I have certain rotations, yes, that I can get like 
28 or 29. Actually, I get really excited when I do 29. Uh, but uh, I think 25 or 26 is on average. And this is also assuming that I'm not going to miss a blitz rotation. Now, I, I am going to be able to use military characters inside of the raids. Uh, Captain Marvel's excellent. I, uh, there's also Killmonger. There's Captain America. And I wonder if certain alliances are going to scale back uh, their raid difficulty just to accommodate for this. And then it becomes a question, is that even worth, you know, getting 18 T-15s and 21 T-14s? I don't know. I think this is going to drive the completionist in some of us absolutely insane. Uh, then right here, with 36 military characters used in raids in one arena, you need a bit over five blitz SID rotations of 24 rands and nine. And then if you use one military character used on every U7 node, and none in your N18, you need a bit over seven. So this is how to go about the event. Uh, I know for me, I'm actually going to pursue uh, a lot of the rewards in this event uh, just because uh, I'm desperate to get into Dark Dimension uh, 4. Uh, and you know, I need 900 or so right now to finish the event. And I probably need uh you know maybe a hundred or two hundred more to actually get through all of global and all of cosmic so by the time that the battle pass rolls out and this event is done i'd probably be stuck on on city but that's just the way it goes a lot of people don't care about uh dark dimension four and if that's the case really you should just take this bonus stuff as bonus stuff play the way that you normally do uh but i'm not looking forward myself to playing on the orb event and the red star event and then on monday's blitz which is going to be a character that i probably am not going to need i'm 99 percent sure it's gonna be a character not need so there is a little bit of concern on reddit this is a brand new post uh it talks about 16 sbcs and 18 t15s depending if it gives three or four uh that number might be 24 but we won't know until we open one of them maximum reward for blitzing full rotations six to eight times daily plus raid and arena Massive disappointment. You can get a little nowhere for that kind of effort. Apparently, Scopey doesn't want to make money, so they aren't selling the T15 orbs. I actually believe the purpose of the event is to uh, get someone like me to like, wow, these 15s are super valuable, so I'd rather just spend money than uh, try to do all this work. Um, but I don't mind doing it when it's Kitty Pride, so we'll do that. What do you think about this event? Um, I don't know. Do you, do you have these uh, word cloud thoughts towards it? I don't know. That's not a real world cloud anyways. I just made that. That's just kind of me being goofy. All right. Let me know what you think in the comic section. And as always, thanks for watching. And keep on gaming. You just got your asses whipped by a bunch of goddamn nerds. I love this song.